All right, guys, we got our grain. We mixed it up. Put it in the blender, mixed it up, like the instructions said. So um, we're going to spray this, this panel. I went ahead and roughed up the surface on it. So just to let you know, no matter what color you're spraying, spray it the same way. You want to get a nice coat onto the metal. Good tack coat. So we got the tack coat. We're starting to see it. Turn the fluorescent green. And if anybody's out there critiquing my painting skills, it's okay. I'm not a painter. Guys, uh, remember when you're dehydrating, you don't want the part metal temperature to get to the, the uh, point to where the powder goes in the gel state, so keep it away from the electric elements inside there. We're going to turn this on, we're going to warm it up, and let it rip for about 10 minutes so the part can dehydrate. We don't want to get it too close into the oven right now. So while that's baking, let's flip around here, and we'll go ahead and start with this curing with the uh, with the heat gun. You can see that the part's wet still because we've got lots of shine going on and we got to get rid of that. We've got to get that liquid moving out of there. Keep the heat gun moving guys. If not, you're going to wind up bringing the uh, gel into, into gel state before it gets dehydrated and that will cause bubbles and rings in the final coat. Everybody says I can't do a heat gun, that takes too long. We'll be done with this heat gun or this piece before the piece in the oven is dehydrated. Once you make sure once you're confident that you've got all the water out of this thing and it's dehydrated properly, bring your heat gun, bring the heat in. Go ahead and bring your powder into gel state. Maintain gel state. You can watch the heat pocket move. You're actually going to move the heat pocket to bring in the entire part, the entire section that you're working on into gel state. You see it become real shiny. That's the powder that's, that's cured out there. Or it's in the curing process. I would suggest probably not on a wooden table. You can't smell that from here, but I can smell the table getting hot from time to smoke on me. Do not touch the part until it cools off. Eh? Grab that heat gun, please. If you got it in gel state, you can get a real good idea at your part metal temperature. We're 400 and we're right at 400 degrees, so we're going to maintain that for just a few minutes. You start getting too hot, you'll back off. To 
you've been in the gel state for a few minutes, go ahead and cut it off and you're good to go. All right, guys, right out, of, right out of the oven. Still hot, still in jail state. There it is, looking, looking pretty decent. Now, anybody wants to know about the durability? We took and beat the crap out of that with a hammer too. That hammer, that panel, you can see there's no damage to the coating. The housing, however, is a little messed up. So. There you go guys, real liquid powder coating.